What gave the United Kingdom, Britain, England, what gave the United Kingdom the right to promise Palestine to a group of Europeans involved in the Zionist movement at the beginning of this century? That's your first question. Neither did England own this land, nor did the Europeans they promised it to have anything to do with it in recent history. This is your first question because this is where the history of the illegitimate state of Israel begins. Before this point in time, there is no actual history. And the biggest culprit to set everything in motion is the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom, England, Britain, is of course the last of the colonizing uh, forces. Our own country of America broke away from England 280 years ago because of, the, uh, because of the tyranny, because of how they felt about people of their own ethnicity, people of their own language. So England has a history of colonization and a history of trying to be an imperialist power. Palestine is the last project of colonialism. Palestine is the last settler colonization of pre-modernity and we are still suffering from the consequences. We are all aware Palestine had been ruled by the Muslims since the time of Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu an, uninterrupted except for a brief interlude under the, under the Crusaders for around 90 years. And during that point in time, it was open for anybody to come, to live, to worship, to pray. There has not been a single case of civil war, of religious strife in the time of the Muslims. Muslims lived with Christians, with Jews together until the Crusaders came and shed blood for the first time. And then the Zionist enterprise was founded in the 1940s. So here's the first question. What gives Britain the right to promise Palestine to a group of Europeans in the Zionist movement in the turn of the century? Because because we're all aware that England made three contradictory and mutually exclusive promises. They blatantly lied to three separate entities about Palestine. Publicly, they promised the Arabs independence from the Ottomans if they rebelled against the Ottoman Caliphate. And they said to the Sharif of Mecca, the great, great, great grandfather of the current King of Jordan, they said to the Sharif of Mecca, they said to him, if you fight against your fellow Muslims and you fight against the Ottomans, we will make you the Khalifa and we will give you an Arab land from Iraq all the way to Tunisia. It will be yours. So they promised the Sharif of Mecca power. And they said, all we want you to do is fight against your fellow Muslims, the Ottoman Empire. Rebel against them and we'll make you the Khalifa. And of course, he didn't learn from previous mistakes and current rulers don't learn from past mistakes. The promises of these superpowers are not even worth the air that they're spoken with, much less the paper they are written on. لتفسدن في الأرض مرتين ولتعلن علوا كبيرا فإذا جاء وعد أولاهما بعثنا عليكم عبادا لنا أولي بأس شديد أولي بأس شديد فجاسوا خلال الديار وكان وعدا مفعولا ثم رددنا لكم الكرة عليهم وأمددناكم بأموال وبنين وأمددناكم بأموال وبنين وجعلناكم أكثر نفيرا